So if you're using Microsoft Access today, we're going to talk about doing calculations within Access. And I know for some of you, this may be an intimidating topic, but I think after you view this video, you're going to find that it's really quite simple. We're going to take a basic inventory database. Uh, we're going to run some queries. I'm going to walk through how to do those queries. And then we're going to look at the reports on exactly what's happening. So stay tuned. We're going to jump right into it. So the first place we need to do is start in Access. So go ahead and open up your Microsoft Access and, and just create a new instance. Now I call mine, I have a test one that I use for these type of videos. But the first thing we want to do is we want to create a table. So let's go ahead and create a table. I'm going to look at this in design view so that you can see how this table is created. Once you've created the table, you can pause and then create this table and then restart again. But here we're basically going to keep the ID. We're going to put item cost and percentage. And if you use the exact configuration I have, then I guarantee you that everything we do in this video is going to work and then explore from that point. So create this table, pause the video, create the table and come back. Now that you've created the table, let's go ahead and add some data to the table. Here, it doesn't matter as much the type of data you put in. I put in oranges, apples, and cherries, all at the same cost of $10. And here, I put in percentage 10, 50, and 100. Now, you can use formatting to change the way this looks. Could look like a dollar sign, things of that nature. But again, this is just a, a real kind of quick and easy way to do calculations. So go ahead and input this information into this newly created table of yours. And you can go ahead and close that table once done. And pause the video, enter, enter in this data, uh, pause the video, enter in the data, and then come back and we'll go right into creating the queries. All right, so now we should have nothing open. Let's go ahead and make sure we don't have the um, table open here. And let's go right into our first query. Now I have two examples here. The first example is that everything is 10%. So I just basically created a field cost with tax and I'm saying that my tax percentage is 10%. So now my cost is 11, right? Because it's one per one is 10% of 10. So it equals 11. This report, so that's report one we're gonna do. Report two that we're gonna do is we're going to dictate what percentage we use. So it's gonna be a fluid um, percentage. And, and you can see here, I used a 10 here, a 50% here, and 100% here. And then we have the total cost column right here in the middle. So let's look to see how we develop those. So let's start with the 10 per cost, meaning that it's 10% 10 um, 10 per cost. So here we're gonna have the table. Remember over here on your right-hand side, you can pull information from queries or from tables. We're gonna pull it from our table, the only table we've created in this example called inventory. And so let's just go ahead and add that. And remember to add these fields, you just click down, click the fields you want and literally drag and drop them. That's exactly what I did here for the first three fields that you see here, ID, item, cost. Notice I don't have percentage in this query. This was something I added later so I could show you this in the video, but that's okay. We don't have to have that field there in this example. The fourth column here, do you see it right there? We're gonna go ahead and click in that column so it will be empty on your screen. So just click on that column, whoops, right click on the column and, and click on zoom. So again, go into the column right into that cell, right click and hit zoom. Zoom is just an easier way to see it when you're writing a little longer of a procedure. So here I've just named it cost TT. I could name it anything, but this is just total cost. And what I'm doing here is I'm pulling information from that table. So notice here, cost, cost. So it's square bracket cost plus open parenthesis, square bracket cost again, divided by 100 times 10. So basically I'm saying take the cost and then take 10%. The 10 there represents the percentage in this example. So that is what you need to enter right here in this field. So go ahead, pause the video and enter that value into your index. 
excuse me, your query. All right, now that we've done that, we should be ready to go. So with that, we're just gonna click on the run button and notice now that it's doing cost is our 10 and then we have that dollar, it's adding it on right there into that cost TT field. Now something important to note here, so that's how that's done, but something important to note, notice there is no cost TT field here. So you may ask yourself, well, how am I gonna get to that data? Well, that data is sitting here for you, okay? It's sitting right here in a variable and we're gonna do that with the report here in just a minute. But before we go to the report, let's look at one other example here, this fluid per cost. It's very similar to the one we just did. We added all the fields. In this example, we put percentage down here on the right-hand side. Again, I'm gonna right-click on that field, go to Zoom, and here is here are my fields. Notice that the fields are almost exactly the same, except at the end. Notice it says, instead of 10, it says percentage with square brackets around it. That is this field right here, which is this field inside of our table right here. Okay, so notice I have 10, 5, and 100. So when I run that query, it's going to look at the 10, 5, and 100. 10% total cost is 11, 50% tax, it's 10 plus five, right? And 100% tax of 10 is 10, so it equals 20. So that's, so the calculations are perfect. So what do we wanna do from a reporting perspective? Now that we've done that, how do we view all the information? Well, remember to create a report, it's very simple. Just click on the query itself, go to create and say report. And once it opens up, it's gonna open up and look exactly like this. Now I didn't do any fancy stuff to my report, I added cost with tax in this one, and then you can see the same one here, percentage. What I did do inside of these is I built the reports based on two different queries. So when you run the reports, this one runs on 10%. Notice that the percentage, which we have inside of our table of 10, 50, and 100, it's not represented here in the total cost. This is strictly 10%. Why? Because remember, that query that we wrote, that query that we wrote has specific 10%, right there, 10, all right? So that's how that works, okay? So, and the same thing with fluid cost. Fluid, notice now it says the percentage is 10 and those numbers are right, so we get the report. Now we can report on that or do anything we want with that information, we can export it. We could even take the results of this query and make another table if we wanted to. There's lots of options available to you once you build the query. Now, I, like many others, believe that access is a great tool as long as it's used properly. You could do calculation fields within a the table itself as well, but um, we don't want to do that because it, we, it's, it's really a best practice, I guess, to keep the data and then the process type of stuff separate. So try to do that in your work and you'll find that it'll work out a lot easier for you. So let me do one last show here. We're gonna do, let's do uh, 25 here. We'll do 50 and 100. So let's go ahead and save that. And we're gonna shut that report down. We could refresh it, I'm just gonna start it again. And now notice that my total is 25, so I've got 12, 50, 15, and 20. And that is as simple as it is to do math within a query within an access database.